So, welcome to Veganish Foodies. I'm India. And I'm Lamont. And this is podcast part two. We're talking again about transitioning, taking it one day at a time, setting yourself on a slow pace, and eliminating as well as adding new things to your diet slowly. So, last podcast, we finished talking about transitioning off of meat what can you add to that we were talking about how we winged ourselves off of pork beef and chicken slowly it was really like a three-year process Mm -hmm. um but it really jump-started this lifestyle change for us was our 40-day fast um do you want to piggyback on the 40-day fast i didn't want to do it so (laughs) uh to really go into that um, I pretty much probably have the same mindset as everybody else. I mean, yes, I wanted to have better health. So the transition for me was for a better uh, feeling with my stomach and my body overall. I worked out. I've taken supplements. Uh, I'm very active. Most of my jobs required me to be active. But then when I started becoming an entrepreneur, now I'm not as active and I eat out more. Um, we like to travel, eat vegan, and enjoy life. So I really noticed that um, when we would eat different foods, it started off with travel and just eat. Um, I wasn't eating vegan at that point in time. So like you said, at the beginning in 2017, uh, I really was just being aware of what was going on and being supportive, which might be what a lot of other people are doing this for. You know, you're more aware, so you're just trying something different. So you're trying to transition it, or you might be supportive of a partner or a family member who's trying to uh, battle something and you're just going with it as well um so with that you you should uh again in the in the first part i was talking about take it seven days 14 days 30 days prior to that um we didn't include before our 40 day we did like a 30 day no carbs you know we did uh 30 day challenges yeah, i forgot about those we did uh no no fast food yeah no fast no food. fried food holy smokes i forgot about those i was just gonna <laughs> say like we did no dairy and we the we, no carbs was the hardest one for me per yeah se. and um we we uh no fast food no dairy it seems like there was something else that we we did oh the main one this wasn't a 30-day one this was uh to try to get off bacon so <laughs> even though we said we stopped doing pork a long time maybe like two years prior to 2017 um, it was very difficult to get off of bacon. So our transition from bacon, again, remember I told you about the turkey bake, um, burgers. We did turkey bacon, which is not as good as regular bacon, mm-hmm. obviously. It doesn't smell the same at all, but it's a good substitute, especially if you fry it nice and crispy or put mm-hmm. it in the oven, that works. Um, mm-hmm. You get the same crisp, and that's kind of what you're looking for when, you, when you're eating um, items with bacon Agreed. on it. And then your taste buds will start to transition the more you eat turkey bacon and not regular bacon. And I mean, obviously, when you eat out, you're not going to get that. So don't order bacon. You know, sorry to say, but that'll help. Mm -hmm. Um, But that was ongoing. That wasn't 30 days. That might have been almost 10 months it took us to get off of bacon. Yeah, it was a while. But once we got off of that, I mean, it was a, a straight shot to just getting rid of chicken. And what helped with that was the 40 day fast. During the 40 day fast, um, even though I didn't want to do it, I had to be more open, and um, that's what really helped. Um, I went more traditional, old school when I was younger, um, feeding the big family with less items. And I remember a lot eating noodles, having soup, eating beans and rice. Um, those type of items really helped out with uh, the fast for me. Um, how about you? Yes, um, I definitely like this because I brought up things that I forgot about. I forgot about those 30 day uh, challenges. Those definitely helped me um, in hindsight now. Those helped me. I was already prepping for this 40 day fast and for this whole entire lifestyle change. So um, for anyone who's trying to start, you know, start with one day challenges. You know, 30 days might be too much for somebody. Start with the one day challenge. Like every day I'm not going to eat uh cheese you know cheese people are addicted to cheese it's almost like crack for most people so you have to start winging yourself off of things slowly but surely but those 30-day fasts definitely jump-started um when you were saying about not 
um, things tasting the same to you, that is a fact, like a fact o macto. Um, when you eliminate something from your body, whether it's a day, a week, or 30 days, your body actually does its own cleanse. So now it's almost like your senses, everything is heightened. So when you go back to that thing that you thought was so great and so yummy and it was so familiar because you've eaten it your whole life, now you can taste the grease or now you can taste the sugar or now you could just... Um, taste the how the oil sits in your stomach and now you feel crappy and now you got to go to the bathroom maybe you can't go you're constipated you know that was a big thing for me um constipation inflammation and just overall pain i had these body pains that um doctors couldn't figure out what was going on with me they couldn't pinpoint why i was having this um um increased inflammation and in just rare body parts my shoulder my ankle my foot um on just one side it wasn't even both sides and um i couldn't go to the bathroom regularly and you know i've had gained a, a lot of weight and i was attributing it to maybe like working overnights i was working overnights at that time um so i really didn't know that it was coming from my food so once i started doing the 30 day challenges, um, I started to have a little bit of success. And you have to remember to celebrate the small wins because a lot of people are just trying to be like, I wanna lose 50 pounds. And then when you only lose five pounds or 10 pounds, people aren't satisfied because they're stuck on that big goal. So celebrate sm salt, um, small wins. But the 40 day fast, uh, the first two weeks was a struggle. Um, the sugar, withdrawals was real because we were on a cruise right up before the 40 day fast so we were eating good uh drinking good i was eating a lot of sweets <laughs> so the withdrawals i wanted to give into the withdrawals so bad because i was having really bad headaches um it was leaving me down to like only eating once a day on top of my one smoothie i was just going through it but I want to tell anybody that uh, you have to push through. It's just like when you're working out, like it really doesn't count until it starts hurting. And most people give up when it starts hurting, like you have to push through because that's when you start to see the results. Like you did that extra five, you did that extra 10. Now you're starting to see your six pack come in. It's the same thing with this fast. Um, now I don't miss the sugar. I actually try to consume less sugar, consume less um, everything. I've drastically change my whole entire eating. I don't crave a, a lot of the things I crave anymore. In fact, a lot of the things I used to love and been eating for 30 years actually gross me out when I look at them or see them or even smell them now. Um, so it's been a total transformation. It's bring along veganish foodies, um, lots of things that we're working on for veganish foodies. So 40 day fast was good for me, but it was a struggle to get through. But once we got through, push through and um yeah i love smoothies and juice so hey just to piggyback on that that was that's a, that made us that got us through so i'm gonna tell you you need smoothies in your life if you don't have a good juice bar or a blender to do that kind of fast or a juicer yes you're gonna need those definitely to get through because that is key you can you can do so much more with less right um I think you hit a, a, a another major point when you were bringing up the fact that you tried different things to get you to the point where you were able to deal with, like you withdraw from the cruise, you withdraw from sugar, you withdraw from different things. So many people, when you transition, you go through these things and you forget that it's trial. This is a life journey. So, I mean, a little hint with us on the, that f fast we ate seafood mm -hmm. i mean we didn't we didn't eat it in abundance but we ate seafood it it, def, it it definitely was a void that we could not avoid at that point of time like but the, to each their own i mean i think i still lost over five ten pounds you lost way more than that I mean, overnight i mean you're talking now you're looking at me now i'm talking about 40 days yes well so, to I mean, be fair we did not weigh ourselves but and we took pictures before and after and you could definitely see a drastic change yes and now what happens is you lose uh body fat over uh like weight 
So, I mean, yeah, in inches. That I lost made, a lot of inches. So that's really what happened. Like, I was at work, and a lot of my clothes, even to this day now, my clothes don't fit the same. I, I can't say that I'm not still, like, a, a 38 waist, but uh, I can probably squeeze into a 36 with no problem at this point in time. I mean, it's just not as comfortable. But my point of saying that is the inches will come off when you're transitioning. Um, try different things when you're transitioning. Give yourself a chance to adapt when you're transitioning. Um, understand that it's a long process. It's not something short when you're transitioning. It's a lifetime. It's a lifetime transition, right? Because we've been trained. Unless you started at one or two or four or very young, then you have to unlearn and relearn. So have a good one, right? We're, we're uh, the veganist foodies. This is our second podcast, right? Um, this was about transitioning and we just hope that this helped you or somebody when in the transition, right? Make sure you check us out on Facebook, um, Veganist Foodies. We have a, a business page. We're actually on every social media platform under mm -hmm. Veganist Foodies, one word put together. All right. So like and subscribe to this channel and, uh, let us know how you thought about our first couple of podcasts. All right, we're going to be on uh, iTunes soon. All right, have a good one.